so I'm streaming here and I'm with the uh, OPS that has a new feature that brightens up your stream of the program which becomes quite annoying that it looks like uh, you know you got something wrong with your camera so let me just open up my chat window and see if anybody comes in and go hey here we are so check out this particular product which I'm going to send a link and there is a little delay so hopefully I'll see you guys there here is the Holly Stone HS190 there's a lot to talk about this right and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my uh, actual YouTube video so I can see myself live and here we are I'm going to start this bad boy going turn on our transmitter turn on our HS190 if it's blinking then we did something wrong so what we're going to do is turn this back off turn this on it flashes quickly we're going to go in we're calibrated if we have any trim issues we go down and to the left like so on both joysticks we want to calibrate by going down and in and we're going to get up to 10 minutes of flight time now on this particular one here it's a rotation not many people know let's do the auto takeoff here by first going down and out we're taking off and we're going to auto rotate that's auto rotate you can go down you can't go you can't go left you can only go down and up to stop it you just hit the button now let's get to the center long pressing long pressing in the button will do one of these the auto circle like the drc 2104 challenge in order to get out of it you just press this button but you can go high and low you crash we go pick it up it crashes not a big deal you go to the calibration you start it you go up by yourself and you go out and you have some fun flying watch out for your TV and there you go height is your friend now you put up some circles you're able to go around your fan now I am going forward I am going to hit the back button that should be this one two I'm pretty good so I am going to go forward. I am going to see if I could go above my ceiling fan. Forward. Come down. And fly. Now if I go into the distance, I could go into the kitchen. And I could go all the way to the back. And I just lost signal. The thing landed, so I'm going to go forward some and I'm going to come back and I'm going to sit down distance is 50 feet line of sight and I reached my limit Now that is the little trick with the with the Holly Stone HS190. Long pressing the circle will allow the flight and then you cancel and you're able to do that. You want to flip, they say 10 feet, press this button, hit the flip button. Press this button, hit the flip. And there you go. Now, if you want to go fast, that's speed number two. If you want to go faster, that's speed number three. Now, can you flip? I crash. I don't think I could flip. 
I don't think you're able to flip. And I'm going to take off again. Flipping is something that you have to do uh, with the controller manually. I don't know. Maybe some people out there has flipped. Headless mode. You hit it, it automatically blinks and it goes into headless mode. So wherever you face it, it'll go. I don't like headless mode. And then if you do the return to home, it's not going to do it correctly. So you make sure you set it up correctly to doing it. I did it over here, which way I face my drone. It will come back correctly. Only a straight line. It's going that way. That's the way it was set up. I got up to 10 minutes to fly. I like flying in default number one speed. I don't have a big room to fly any faster. If I set up little rings, I can go through the rings and so forth. There's a lot you can do with the drone. This is a great little learning drone. Check out the link. It was on sale at original price of $50 years ago. It dropped down as low as $29. They had a flash sale for $25 the other day. And this just dropped down to $21. You can't beat that price. $21, $22. Have all this fun. You can go as far as you want. Come in. You can change the speed on the fly. You can do a lot of tricks with it. You can do one of these. Let me bring it close to me. Now, if this thing crashes, let me get it close to me. It loves to drift away. You can see you can try to catch it and it goes up and you turn it. That's the crashing. Now, you just start it up. Go up and out just like that. Why? Great for a kid when it starts to get low. It is start to blink and you got within a minute or two to land. You can't turn off the light in the front. That light is powerful. You can change the propellers, take the guards off. There's a lot you can do. I'm going to fly through my cone circles. Don't want to crash. Now, if I wanted to do the rotation like they did it and do it slowly, I could do it my way, just like that. And if I give it gas, I can go forward nice and slow. I could practice figure eights. Blue lights on the black, red on the front. Beautiful, beautiful little drone. Nice straight line. Just like that. I'm shooting with the DJI Osmo action camera, web camera. Right up front. Give you a close up shot of it. Go take off. There you go. This is wonderful fun. Let's see if I can go into the kitchen on number two. Turn around. And back to speed number one. Now, years ago, these drones 
you give it forward command and then you have to give it reverse command to stop. Air circulation makes it drift a little. There you go. Hope you enjoy your drone. All right, I got a blue light. Time to come in within a minute. It's gonna land. And a landing would just drop like a bat out of hell, like that. I have no control of the landing. I'm gonna shut my drone off, shut my transmitter off. Four AAA batteries. These two, or these two, do not control just the transmitter. They control the transmitter and the charging, all four batteries. So if you move these two, transmitter won't just run, and two won't run, meaning these two just won't charge the unit, all four will charge the unit, run the unit. I basically take the cable that's supplied, that's over here, and I charge my unit up after so many minutes of letting it cool down. And as simple as plugging it in, looking for my little black mark I made. These legs, they fold in and they fold out. These guards come off, the propellers come off, and they fit inside the case over here. This is the charging cable, if you don't have your white cable with you. I ran this for at least an hour, maybe up to two hours. No problems at all. Charging. Running the unit. Seeing any drop in power. The distance, 50 feet from the front of the house to the back of the house, line of sight. So if I go up in the air, it's going to just drop down and lose the signal. It won't go haywire. It uh, reaches limit and come down. Mine landed on the table, as you saw in the video. I hope this video, this Holly Stone HS190 is something you're looking for. This was provided for review. I'm not here selling you. I'm here representing and saying, hey, you're looking for something to have fun with? This little bad boy is what you want. So on that note, I do thank you very much for your time and all. I appreciate you stopping by. Have a great day.